This is Discord Wrapped, where I look at 10 of Discord's biggest fails and wins of 2023, with a little bonus at the end. But before that, thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. If you didn't know, Opera GX is a browser for anyone that wants to spice up their web browsing experience. Using the GX store, you can find a ton of GX mods which theme your whole browser. For example, I'm picking Cozy Farm, as if I'm going outside for the first time this whole entire year. Now, when you install a mod, you get background music, but you also get typing noises when you type stuff. When you open tabs, and you close tabs, you also get sounds. You get this nice inspired wallpaper and you get different browser colors. You can also add GX mods that theme your Discord, which is perfect for me because I can see scammers yelling at me in perfect AMOLED color. And if you wanna change anything, you just need to go to your GX mods and you can mix and match to your heart's content. But if you just wanna make small changes to Opera GX's theme, then you can go to the easy setup in the top right and you can pick one of these colors and you can also pick in light or dark mode or auto. And finally, you can have animated wallpapers by clicking on custom, clicking on get more wallpapers. Now I highly suggest clicking on animated and finding an animated wallpaper that you want. There's one that I'm already going to pick. This is the best web browser on the planet. So now that you're switching to Opera GX for two big reasons on my screen, you can quickly import your data from other browsers. Just click on the settings icon here, scroll down to synchronization, click on import bookmarks and settings and click on import and you're good to go. And yes, you schmooky poo, Opera GX supports Chrome extensions. Find whatever the heck you want, click on the Chrome extension, and then click Add to Opera. It's that simple. Now, to be honest, despite all of these features, I was instantly sold when I could add feet to my browser, and you were probably sold as well, so use my link below to download Opera GX today. And now, back to the video. Now, the theme of Discord in 2023 is useless features that nobody asked for, and I have two prime examples. The first prime example is the username change. Basically, instead of having a username with four numbers at the end, also known as a discriminator, instead we now have a unique username system like Twitter. The reason why this username username change happened is because sharing your username can be a little too complicated or obscure to remember. Discord thinks your brain is equivalent to a poop sock. Now, there's an obvious issue with this username change. It's pretty clear. Only one person could have the username Phoebe is cool, whereas 9,999 people could have the username Phoebe. And what that means is that there are going to be people who want a very rare username. And with that, Discord users were foaming at the mouth, like a pit bull staring at a small, innocent child. Because what people wanted is they wanted to figure out out when they could change their username, and it was based on Discord's rollout system. And you want to know how the rollout went? Well, it was confusing, half working, and it was a complete crapshoot. I, for example, did not get my username until someone very thankfully handed it over to me. Now again, all of this happened back in May of 2023. But how are things right now in 2024? Well, nothing has really changed. In fact, people are still complaining about the change on Reddit, and there's actually a comment where someone explains the issue with this username system. Now this poor soul here received received harassing DMs from people who were crap talking this person about taking their Discord username. Yes, my faith in humanity has diminished since this event happened. But here's what's happening right now as we speak. Remember that video that I made where if you send an image on Discord you would get instantly banned? Well, people are using that in rare username servers, where they have a fake verification system where it says, here are four images. You can see that three of them are black and white, and they're also all blurred so that no one tries to abuse this, and there is one image that is not black and white. And the verification system asks you to send the non-black and white image to get verified. You can put the puzzle pieces together. This image is one of those images where if you send them on Discord, you'll be instantly banned. That person with the rare username gets banned and someone steals their username. The Discord degeneracy is running wild. But Discord's username update was something that really just annoyed the Discord nerds. And there's something that pissed off a lot more people. It's Discord's improved mobile UI update. Now this definitely improved. Discord mobile experience was like Discord bending down in front of your face and letting a fart loose right directly in your mouth. Buggy, laggy, confusing to use, and that is the new mobile update for a lot of people. But I want to make it clear that Discord labeled this update as the bee's knees, the newest generation of Discord, and when reality it was actually you being a beta tester for an app that barely worked, and they made massive amounts of blog posts just trying to advertise this, and they even made a YouTube video that the new mobile updates are here, as if it's a really big announcement. And here's the thing, people hated this update. In fact, don't even take my word for it, just read the comments of this YouTube video and people are complaining about how this update is god awful. It is the worst thing they've ever used on the planet. In fact, if I scroll up, these comments got so bad that if you go to Discord's YouTube channel right now and see their recent videos, you will notice that, oh, I gotta pause it, comments are turned off because everyone's just spamming about the mobile update being garbage. Now I wanna be honest, the app right now is actually not in a bad spot. It's not awful, it's just a little bit weird, but 
even if the app is good, people still want the old UI back because half a million people watched a tutorial on how to get it back. People do not like this mobile app. So we have features that nobody wants, but what about Discord canceling a feature that everyone wanted? We're moving on to another L by Discord because we're talking about emoji packs. And in my personal opinion, this was probably the best thing that Discord was gonna make in 2023 because what it allowed you to do is use emojis without having to be in someone's Discord server, which is a good thing. But if you're someone that owns a Discord server, and you want people to stay in your Discord server for the emojis, you could just turn the setting off. So this feature was already looking really good, but the biggest W about emoji packs was that free users, people that don't buy Discord Nitro, could use custom non-animated emojis from one Discord server. It was like a sample of Discord Nitro. And yes, when I showed it in a video, it was a little bit buggy, but right before I thought they were going to release it, someone pinged me to look at the emoji packs FAQ. And it turns out that the packs feature is now deactivated because starting on December 13th of 2023, all users will no longer be able to collect or use an emoji pack. Yeah, so Discord's best feature got cancelled. Now, I know I started off with blunders that Discord made in 2023, but that's not to say that everything Discord did this year was bad, because they did add a very helpful feature for server owners. It's called onboarding. And onboarding allowed your server members to pick what roles they want, whether it be notification or color roles. Oh, this part I actually really like is that you could customize which channels are visible on your screen. You could trim it down to what's only important for you. And Discord adding onboarding basically made reaction role bots obsolete. And to be honest, this is an almost perfect feature because when you're setting up onboarding, you have a couple of requirements, some minimum requirements, and these are really annoying, especially if you're trying to use a verification bot. So a Discord, uh, just please remove these or figure out how to make these numbers smaller. But Discord's big positive focus this year was security and moderation. And let's see how Discord improved security on the platform. Now, back in early 2023, you could upload something on Discord, whether it be an image or maybe an EXE file with malware. And what you could do is you could copy the image link or the link to the EXE file, which is a virus that will blow up your computer, and you could put that on any website that you want. In fact, things were so bad that people that don't use Discord every single day of their lives, like a loser like myself, started to notice that Discord was being used to host and spread malware. But believe it or not, Discord actually did something. Yes, they changed their attachment link URL so that they now have an expiration time timestamp, which is usually 24 hours after the image was uploaded. So theoretically, what this would do is prevent people from using Discord to host malware. Now, the cherry on top of Discord bumping up security is that they added security keys. And these things are phenomenal. Basically, when you want to use two-factor authentication, you click authenticate with a security key, and you can scan a QR code with your iPhone or Android device, or you can use a UB key. And when you use your phone, it has to be connected to the computer locally over Bluetooth. So basically, this is phishing proof, which means if you're someone Someone that, you know, maybe not, you don't use the internet a whole bunch and you fall for a website called wowgetfreenitrodiscord.com. This is a fake Discord login page, a phishing web page. If you for some reason fell for this and put in your username and password, if you clicked login, you would not be able to get phished. Unless, of course, you scan a QR code with Discord's mobile app to log in instantly, bypassing all of these security features and making it where hundreds of people still get scammed every single day to this day. Oopsies, my bitterness came out and it's here to stay because Discord's moderation in 2023 has gotten a whole heck of a lot worse. Because tons and tons of people have been getting randomly banned off Discord, and it's mainly two things. One, you might get banned off Discord because Discord thinks you are a minor, even if your Discord account is eight years old. Don't know how that makes sense? And the reason why this is such a big problem is that you could go to any Discord server, search for child, 12, 13, and just look for any message where it seems like someone is saying that they're underage. For for example, Joe Leg says, I am child, thank you very much. Now, if we take that out of context, I'm going to say that Joe Leg is under 13 years old. He cannot be on Discord. It's time to report him for being underage. Oh, and I just wanted to add, if you do get banned for being underage and then you appeal with Discord using your ID, if you say another message like I am a child, you can get banned again for being underage, even though Discord has your ID. But things get even worse because guess what? Discord is adding AI to scan your images because Discord image attachments will be scanned to detect explicit content. And you know, Discord argues that it's not an invasion of privacy because AI models are looking at your images instead of humans, which is 
kind of a null point because if you actually look at what Discord's saying is that if their magical AI finds a match that is unique, they're going to have a human that reviews to verify if it's an instance of this no-no content. And somehow through that chain of command, someone got banned for sending a photo of Hannah Hayes in a Discord DM. Hannah Hayes is an adult actress. You can already assume that their photos probably do not have a lot of clothes in them. But when they sent this message, their account was suddenly disconnected and they were deactivated. Now, that's not to say that all of Discord's moderation is bad because they actually released a very successful feature to Discord. Yes, we have a rare Discord W coming in. It's called account standing. But the best part about this feature is everything else behind it. The whole suite of moderation changes that came with this update. Now, I could basically replay this whole entire video and you'd understand everything, but a quick summary is that if you do something bad on Discord, like this person here, you will get your account limited. Discord will tell you what rule you broke and you will have a temporary suspension on your Discord account. And it'll prevent you from doing things like sending DMs sending friend requests, accessing servers, or uploading attachments. It's basically Discord smacking you upside the head like your mom should have and telling you not to be an ass on the internet. Now, whether or not you agree with Discord being your parental figure, I do want to say that having transparency in terms of what you did right and wrong is good. Now, changing gears for a second, 2023 was the year of AI. Everyone and their dog was trying to put AI into stuff. There's probably an AI toothbrush somewhere online. If there is, there's going to be a photo on the screen, and if this does exist and I didn't cut this out, I have no no faith in humanity. Just brush your teeth like a normal human being, which is once a week. And Discord, like every other company, decided, you know what, let's hop on the AI bandwagon. Because they released this blog post, Discord is your place for AI with friends. And wow, this aged like milk, baby. Now in this article, Discord introduces a whole bunch of features. Clyde, Automod AI, conversation summaries, and whiteboard with AI preview. Now Automod AI is basically AI that moderates your Discord server. You don't need to employ child la- You don't need to employ volunteers. Sorry, forget that little slip up there. And instead, you can use AI to moderate your whole entire Discord server. This feature has not gone anywhere. There's this whiteboard feature where you could draw a flower and then get AI to turn it into something that's actually art. Well, stolen art. I've also never seen this actually happen. There was this conversation summaries feature, which actually does exist in Discord, surprisingly. I'm in the Community Architects Discord server, and they do have this summaries beta feature. And as someone that actually uses this a fair bit, uh, it's not useful. But there is an AI feature that everyone used. Yes, it's our favorite baby boy, Clyde. Now, Clyde is a chatbot, and it's run off OpenAI. In fact, all of these AI features are run off OpenAI. And as with any AI, you could get Clyde to say a whole bunch of swear words and racist crap. You could gaslight Clyde like you could gaslight your six-year-old cousin into thinking that you made Fortnite. So Discord took a step back and thought, this isn't good. Our official Discord bot is telling people to unalive. So then kind of ironically, Discord killed Clyde. It no longer works. You cannot message it, you can't do anything. And also, I do want to make it clear that Clyde was costing Discord money because it used OpenAI. And speaking of money, Discord took a massive L and drained a ton of their money when they did some not-so-big money business moves. Because what they did is they acquired Gas, not Gasoline, the app Gas, which is basically a complement-based polls app for schools. Now, according to a basic Google search, Gas earned $7 million in net revenue. And Discord decided to buy Gas for an undisclosed amount of money. Now, the whole point of this acquisition is that they would work independently, but the gas team would help out Discord, but it turns out that nine months later, Discord kills gas. Now, we do want to make it fair that it seems like Discord could afford this massive blunder because they found an infinite money printer. It's called the Discord Store and Monetization. Now, this one's going to be a bit controversial, but all of these features are net positives. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is monetization. So, on your Discord server, if you are in the United States of America, you could enable monetization which allows you to make money on your Discord server, even if it will slowly kill your community because you just get more greedy and the whole point of the server is not to have fun but to make money. But monetizing your Discord server isn't the only thing that you can do because you can also monetize your own Discord bot. But of course, Discord does have to get a little bit of their cut of the check, you know, so they do take 10%. So it's a mutually beneficial situation. And then we have the store. And this is where people are going to start disagreeing with me in the comments. But Discord shop is honestly a massive win for Discord. Now, yes, we could complain that, that spending $12 on a profile effect is completely absurd. I do agree with you on that. But Discord has gotten a lot better because their prices have drastically decreased. $5 for a profile effect, or 4 if you have Discord Nitro, and for avatar decorations, it's the same price. This is a lot more reasonable in terms of money. Specifically this one. This is worth every penny. But the money that Discord gets from their shop is a really good thing. Because the more money that's in Discord's pocket, 
pockets means the more time we get to have Discord the way it is, with no ads and them not selling your data. If Discord was running low on money, they'd have some sort of therapy ad right in the middle of your screen because a lot of you need it. So yay, Discord has all this money. What are we gonna do with all this money? Well, it's not gonna be anything good because this is when Discord takes their final L. Because Discord decided to lay off 4% of its staff as part of company reorganization, AKA, I want to save my money for a little bit longer. Now this might not be a bad thing because I did read the reviews of Discord's Glassdoor and it did seem like a pretty crappy work environment, but I do wanna point out that these job cuts have affected people in marketing, design, and entertainment partnership teams. Having these people laid off means that the Discord partner program is no longer accepting new applicants. And even Discord's Hype Squad events program, which has been dead for a couple of years, it finally got its well-deserved death because if you try going to their website, it just, it doesn't work anymore. And recently you probably noticed that Discord didn't have a Snow's Giving. They had one in 2022, but if you look at Discord's blog right now, there's nothing about Snow's Giving because once again, those people got laid off. Discord is less fun because Discord's trying to save all that money. Now that got a little depressing at the end, so I'm gonna wrap it up with my little bonus event. But when we had those Discord Pentagon leaks, this cataclysmic event of 2023 allowed all of these old people and news reporters to understand the culture of Discord. And for some reason, 1.9 million people watched my video, which is completely insane. But that also means that 1.9 million people understood the degeneracy of Discord, which honestly is a massive win for everyone. Let's keep being the goofballs that we are, chronically online individuals. Anyway, sweetheart, bye-bye, I love you.